hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl on your best and you're welcome to on your best beauty patente b hope you guys are doing fine all right guys in today's video we'll be dealing on no me the president nail enclosure now this is under SMP the presidential how you ought to give precedence when you see yourself for junction who is going to go first who's going to go um second third fourth depending on how uh on a day for the junction okay how you're going to organize yourself in clearing that junction that's what we'll be going to see today okay now i'm going to read the normal just one or two and then we'll go right in into um taking them out from the junction because we're going to see images of different vehicles and as well i'm going to explain to you at all times you see yourself in the junction who should be the first to move in case you see such vehicle okay now it says si a obligo de dar la presidenza a destra now you are obliged to give to pre, to give precedence to the right number one. Nel incroci privi di segnalazioni junctions that don't have signal junctions without signals you are obliged to give precedence to the right. In presenza de signale intenzioni con precedenza a destra where you see um, the signal that tells you give precedence to your right. Give precedence to your right. When you see that signal, you are also give precedence to vehicles coming from the right. I'm going to quickly show you that image. Okay, now this is it. This image over here. I'm trying to zoom. Okay, this one where you are seeing this signal, you are giving precedence to vehicle by the right. All right, so you have that in mind. Junctions without a signal give precedence to your right. Junctions with this signal I just showed you that you have to give precedence to your right. You still obey the rules that applies to giving precedence to the right. Si è obbligo di dare la precedenza a destra e a sinistra. It means what? When you see yourself for junction, I'm going back with repetition because I want it to sink into your head. When you're giving precedence to a junction by the right, you give precedence if there's no signal in that junction. You maintain, give precedence to your right. If you see yourself where there is this signal, I just showed you the time signal, you're giving precedence to your right again. But this time you're going to give precedence both to the left and the right. Where? Number one. Where you see dare precedence. Where you see dare precedence. If you don't know what is dare precedence, I have videos on signaling the precedence. Go to my playlist, search for signaling the precedence. You're going to see that playlist. Go throughout those signals so you know what precedence science is. Okay, but for those of us who have gone through that step, okay, you should know what precedence sign is. Now, when you see that precedence, you are giving precedence to both your left and your right. In presence of the signal, fermacy, a direct precedence, which is signal the stop, you are giving precedence to your left and your right. Okay, and lastly. A vehicle the it could be tram, it could be train, vehicles that move on tracks. You should give precedence to your left and your right, unless it is indicated otherwise. Okay, let us see another place whereby we can give precedence to left and right again. But remember, we've talked about direct precedence. You are giving precedence left and right. Signal the stop. You are giving precedence left and right. Where you see vehicle driving on tracks, train, tram, give precedence left and your right. A vehicle in emergency, vehicle in emergency, it could be police, it could be vigilant the four ambulance with their siren in function. Give precedence to your left and your right. Uchendo da Santieri, Molatieri, Package, Paso Carabile. When you are coming out from Package, you're coming out from Paso Carabile. All these are what we've talked about for those who are who these things sound strange to go back to my playlist and watch these videos please don't start from here if you don't understand anything all right so that you don't get confused anymore when you're coming out from mod places you're coming out from package you're coming out from paso carabile you're giving precedence both to your left and your right when you're doing a reverse you are doing a u-turn you are giving precedence to your left and your right now, when you stop and you want to enter back into the circulation, for example, you pull over to the right, to the margin of the road, and you want to come back to circulation, you are giving precedence both to your left and your right. Now, we've seen places whereby we have to give precedence only to the left 
And now we have also seen places whereby we have to give precedence both to the left and the right. Okay, we are going to apply these things we just seen in this video, in these um, images as well that I'm bringing out now. But then I'm going to explain this one to you first, and then I'll give you a chance to reply one or two. I wouldn't make this video long. I will bring more videos based on this signal so that you understand better. Okay, but first of all, we are going to go through this one. I will explain to you, and then you answer yourself. Okay. Now, it says, it Trump T pass a primo porque la presidencia respeto a los otros vehículos. It means that anytime I see Trump in a junction like this, remember, anytime you're seeing Trump with other vehicles like this, Trump goes first, always. Trump goes first, always. So we are going to remove Trump here and we'll be left with three vehicles. Vehicle O, vehicle A, and vehicle M, which is the bike. Vehicle T goes first, always. Tram, not autobus, not filobus. Tram, only tram goes first, always when you see yourself in a junction. So we are going to remove tram. I will be left with O, M, and A. Now remember that in this junction, we are giving precedence to the right. Whoever has the right hand side free goes first. That means if there's no vehicle by my right hand side, I'm going first. If there is vehicle at my right hand side, the vehicle is going first. Okay, we are going to see other complicated ones later in other videos I'll be bringing out concerning this particular um, topic. Okay, but for now, let us see it as we are giving precedence to vehicles on your right. So if your right hand side is occupied with a, with the vehicle, you have to wait for that person to go. Immediately, your right hand side becomes free. You are going to go. Okay, so in this case. When T goes and we are left with these three, we are going to search for the next person that writes the right hand side free. Now, if you look, it is a bit complicated again because why every of them, even after T has gone, every of them still has the right hand side occupied. If we ask O to go, A is at the right hand side of O, so O cannot go. If we ask A to make the turn, it cannot completely make that turn because there's M here at the right hand side of A. Even if you ask M, which is the bike to go, it cannot go because there's O at the right hand side. So mm -hmm. how, how do we arrange these people? They need to leave the junction. They have to leave the junction. Now, what we are going to do is to tell A to make the first move. Remember that T has gone. A is going to make the first move and stop at the, the center of the road here, center of the junction. Okay, A is going to make that first move, but he will not complete the maneuver. He's going to wait at the center here. Stop. Now, when he stop, he's going to give chance for O to go. Because why? Immediately A has stopped at the center. There's nobody at the right hand side disturbing O from going. O is going to go. When O goes, there's nobody at the right hand side of M now because O has gone. M is now going to make the move and go. And then A, which is at the middle of the road, is going to complete the whole maneuver. Remember, A is going to make the first move, stay at the junction, the middle part of this junction, hold on there. The only reason why he made the first move is because so has O is going to go. Because if he still stays here, there's no way O is going to go because he's at the right hand side of O. I hope you understand. Okay, let us see another example. Let us see another example. I'm going to give you another example. We have B, we have H, we have C. Remember, we are giving precedence to vehicle on our right-hand side. It means if there's no vehicle at my right-hand side, I have to go. Okay? Now, we have C, we have H, we have B. Who do you think should go first in this case? I'm going to leave you to answer in the next two seconds. Answer within yourself. Have your answers within yourself, and then I will confirm your answers. Okay? Yes, now if you have decided or if you said within yourself, okay, that the first person to leave the junction is B, then you're correct because there's no vehicle at the right hand side of B. B is going straight and there's no vehicle obstructing it, okay? So B is going to go. And then if you decided that after B goes, the next person leaving is H, then you're correct because when B goes, there's no vehicle here. We are assuming, immediately we pick a vehicle out from that junction, assume there's nothing there again. Okay, so that you can arrange the next ones or the remaining ones, okay? We are going to assume that B is not here again because B has gone. The right hand side is free. Now we are left with H and C. Between H and C, who has the right hand side free? It means the next person is H because now there's no vehicle here again. 
H right hand side is free. H is now going to go. And when H go, it means B and H are assumed not to be here again. We are now having only C. It means C can now go because C has no vehicle at the right hand side. Okay? So that is how they are going to move in this one. I'm going to take another example, one more example, and then we'll stop the video. I will bring more videos concerning this um, signal because it's very important, okay? Now we have this one where there's no right up. So I expect you to move these vehicles and then I'll come back and give you the answer. All right? Now your time starts now. Yes, guys. Now I'm going to help you with this. If you have said in your mind or you've, you've concluded that I will be the first person to leave this junction, then you're correct. Okay, so the first person to leave in this junction is R. Why? Because there's no vehicle here. No vehicle is disturbing R. There's no vehicle at the right-hand side of R for moving. No vehicle. Mm, it's free. Okay, so R is going to go first, being the first vehicle that has the right hand side free. Now, when R is go, we are going to assume that R is not in the junction again. That's the only way we are going to um, help the remaining vehicles to go. Because when we keep seeing this vehicle here, we'll make mistake. So assume that this yellow vehicle, which is vehicle R, is not here again. We are now left with C and A. Who is going to go first between these two? Now, if you concluded, that A is going to go next, then you're correct. Because after Aru is not here again, after we've assumed it's not here again because we've moved it, we'll be left with C and A. Between C and A, the next person that has the right-hand side free should be A, because no vehicle again here. The right-hand side, stopping it from moving. So A is going to go, and by the time we have Aru and A gone, the next person remaining here is C. And C is going to make the last movement because now this place is free. There's nobody here stopping him from going. Okay, so that's how they're going to leave the junction. Remember, we are giving precedence to vehicle on the right-hand side. Now, most times we find it complicated, whereby even everybody right-hand side is free. But we'll manage to make somebody move. We'll get to those points, I'll explain to you how to do them. Okay, but do not forget to turn your notification bell so that as I post a video, you'll be notified. Okay, and then you follow up. Do you understand? All right, if you're not sub subscribed up to this point, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed today's topic. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.